Well, I don't know how many weeks we're going on now, but we've had zero, zero rain, zero. So I have no idea how this video is going to sound or look. And folks, I really don't feel well enough to care. <laughs> it has nothing to do with you, but good morning. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Mama's keeping it together, but I think these are important issues for us to talk about because we all, oh, I hear somebody. Who is it, Fritz? Where are you, buddy? Oh, there he is up there. He's coming, he meows and comes down here. So I didn't make a video yesterday because we were so busy trying to set up with everything. By the way, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. If I didn't say it, I'm sorry. I took a Benadryl last night before I went to bed and I cannot take Benadryl, not because it doesn't work, but because it knocks me out, okay? Patera was, it, Patera was never a, a good <laughs> individual to take anything. When I'm out, I'm out. It's just, I just, I, I can't hardly tolerate any medications because I, it just makes you so useless that it's hard to function. I won't show you the details, but frankly, I think I have hives on the back of my legs. And uh, I think that's due to stress because I have literally worked myself stupid. I'm just going to be blunt. If that doesn't work for you today, I apologize, but it's the way it's going to be. Um, so, you know, we've worked really hard getting all of our projects in and done. And then we have all the gardens in and I'm watering like crazy. Everything is growing and doing well, but, is, it, but it literally has come at somewhat of a physical cost for me, um, for us, because guys, you have to have, you, you have to grow your own food as much as you can. So this is actually touching upon several, several conversations, this video. Number one, before, not enough about me, but the fact of the matter is, is you can't predict the weather. They might be able to predict it for you, but that's not gonna be necessarily up to you, right? And it doesn't matter if you're in a hoop house, a greenhouse or outside, you have to be able to deal with the elements and being able to be set up to offer what your crops need, right? And the number one thing is obviously water and all of the other amendments and things like that. But that takes physical labor. If it's not falling from the sky, do you have it set up in a way to where you can water and you have to be consistent with it and you have to rotate and you have to work with that. That takes a lot of extra physical energy that probably most of us kind of think is a possibility, but don't really recognize it. Depending on how many crops you plant and how your watering systems are set up, it could take extra hours every day. And that's also extra stress on top of everything else that you're doing, being a mom, taking care of the kids, running the house, taking care of the, the, the farm. Um, maybe you have a job. Uh, maybe you are uh, taking care of el your elderly mom. Uh, there's so many other variables that so many of you I know are dealing with or dealing with a nosy cat. <laughs> Look, he's down here. Good morning, baby doll. So I didn't make a video yesterday because I'm probably going to the doctor today. I have a feeling I may be getting a steroid shot, but I've done this before in the past uh, due to stress. Um, and I think that these moments are actually good. Uh, they're bad at the, in the moment, um, but they're good because it shows your sensitivity to that your body, my body, your body can only go so far. And this is true for everyone. So you have to recognize, and it's hard, it's hard. You have to recognize when you're pushing it too far. And you just, when you, right as you start to hit that wall, you have to start to pull back. So here's the thing, I'm watering every day. We're taking care of everything every day. Everything is actually going pretty well here on the farm. It's just a lot of labor. What if I was an individual that woke up today that planted my first garden? It hasn't rained in over three weeks. Um, and I don't have a backup in my pantry. I shouldn't be stressing. I understand that, and I know a lot of you are going to say, calm down, tear, take a day off, chill out. Yes, I, I, I know, but that's very hard for me to do. That's my personality. That's who I am. I do have a lot of help, but I also do a lot. This is how I, ma it's, it's almost like I manage a lot of my stress or possible anxiety by doing. I'm a, I stay very busy, 
Um, but let's be honest, we're all under an immense amount of pressure and stress right now, okay? We really, really are. I mean, have you seen all the new stuff coming out with the financial system right now, the banks, uh, commercial, real estate, how this all translates down to me and you, all the lies you're being told. Um, I mean, we could just go on and on and on, okay? But the reality is we have to find ways to process. We have to find ways to recognize when we need to stop. We have to um, understand that if we think we're under stress and pressure now, what happens during a crisis situation? So Pateria is on a test run right now. <laughs> I'm on a test run. And, um, you know, I know these things about myself. I have for a very, very, very long time. This is my personality, okay? And I do manage things very well. Um, I don't take any anxiety medications or do anything like that. Um, you know, I don't, you know, I sleep pretty good. I work really hard. But we all have our breaking points. This is where I'm saying to you, recognize as best as you can your breaking points. I haven't had this type of situation uh, literally in probably 11 years. I mean, I haven't, this has not, not happened in so long. It's crazy. So what I want to show you is, is I'm going through by hand again, every, like every morning, and I'm hand watering my tomatoes. Now this isn't abnormal. This is actually kind of normal watering because I do have a watering system for my tomatoes. As you can see right there, my aqua cones with the two liters and I fill them every morning, okay? And uh, so that's nothing major, but constantly having to rotate up there, you can see it's growing pretty good. Um, and just the worry and the stress. You know, they just came out in, in, in telling, from what I'm seeing over the past day or two, that institutional kitchens are being told to have 10 days of food. Folks, you gotta, that's, that's like your, um, what is it, your state prisons and your, your different things like that. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, anybody telling you that you should have 10 days of food as a backup, that is a poor announcement. That is a poor, that's, 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 pardon my language, but that's piss poor. Um, because 10, 10 days isn't gonna get you very far. If 10 days is all you can start with, if 10 days is all you can do right now, then that's where you start. But that's not your drop-off point, okay? You need to have 30, 60, six, I, I tell people six months at a minimum, up to two years if you can, okay? If you've been watching my videos for a long time, you know I'm pretty consistent with that. I mean, I, that's what I tell you. I made a video uh, last year saying, try to make your pantry go out two full years as far out as you can with whatever you can. Because folks, have you seen what's going on with the droughts? Have you seen what's going on with grain? Have you seen what's going on with corn? I would highly recommend at this point that you have a really good backup of corn. Do you like corn? Do you think corn is important uh, for your pantry? Listen, don't stress out like Patera. <laughs> don't be like Patera. Actually, in this case, you can. Um, Go down to the Aldi, wherever you shop, I don't care, and pick up 10 cans of corn today, okay? Please do, it, don't do that for you, do that for me, so I know that, just do that one thing for me. Don't, <laughs> go pick up five, 10, 12 cans and put them away, okay? They've gone up in price. I checked it yesterday at Aldi. You know, you used to get cans of corn for 49 cents, then they went to 50 cents, then it went to 51 cents, now they're 64 cents. Um, you know, you do the math on that, you're, you're not looking at 4% inflation over the, you know that as well as me, it's all a lie, it's all a lie. So, what I want to say to you this morning is Southeast Tennessee in my area has, everybody around us has, is getting, has gotten rain. The haze today from the smoke is not as bad. We do have a cool down and some wind, it feels much better, it's not as hot as it was the past couple of days. I could be having a reaction to heat. Maybe not just be stressed. It could be heat. They're going to tell me, right? Hi, Ginger. But this is what I'm saying. You need to recognize how far your breaking point is. How far do you go? Um, I would say overall mine is really good, but it's because I have conditioned myself to work to a point. I have conditioned myself to um, prepare more than, than a lot of people have. And that's helped me. So when a crisis really hits, 
I can take a deep, a, a slight deeper breath than others because I know this. And that's the same way with you guys because you're preparing and you're smart. But, so I've got the sprinkler running up there. There's nothing up there that can't take a sprinkler. So I simply have been rotating down to a certain point by a certain time of day. And then the next morning I pick up and go down the other end and then I start working my way back up. It's working out really well. Uh, our water is well water and it's wonderfully delicious. So I know that, that all of my plants are getting good water. Um, but folks, these are the times that we are in. Are you prepared for the stress? I don't really think we've seen the stress yet. Do you? How do you manage with stress? Some people get angry. Um, some people have migraines. Um, some people lash out. Some people get hives. So understand your breaking point, okay? Understand your breaking point. Figure it out now and have the things on hand that you need in order to handle them. Chamomile tea, lavender tea, hydrocortisone, Benadryl. Um, you know, in my case, these are the things that are helping me right now. But folks, you're gonna be working like you've never worked before. And you have to start thinking about that. So I'm gonna use myself as this little uh, glutton for punishment example today and because uh, I want it to help you I want it to help you not only have we planted everything we brought on a new dairy cow we've had two major runs of hay I didn't actually work with the hay the second time so we know this is not a reaction to hay somebody's gonna say maybe you reacted to the hay I wish I could tell you that but that's not true um, I just think that all of us have a breaking point you know it and we have to know what that is if your gardens aren't working out for you right now, even if they are working out right now, if you have been blessed with a lot of rain and things are looking good right now, well, guess what? That doesn't mean it's going to be that way in three weeks. What if blight comes in and wipes everything out, right? What if a tornado comes through with the rainstorms that you're getting and takes all of your corn out? So don't ever be confident to the point where you just think this is all gonna work out and you have nothing else to think about. No, you have to have backups for your backups. This is, an, this is the most critical lesson and thing that I think I bring to my channel is understanding that ultimately you are not in control and how you react to things is important. But the ultimate thing that I can say and I will continue to say it is, listen, if all of this fails or if I get really sick and my husband and kids do it to a point, but we only get half of what we hope to get, I know that I have a backup plan. Do you have a backup plan? They are telling you to have a backup plan. How many times do you have to be told to have backups for backups? It's kind of like the, old, the little saying that everybody's saying, it's like, when you know, you know. Well, I hope you know. Guys, I'm gonna get to work. Everybody's doing great. Daffodil's doing great. Thank you so much for your kind emails and letters. And I've got some boxes to open. From James went and picked up some things for me yesterday. And um, guys, I just can't thank you enough, okay? I really honestly can't. I'm supposed to be going to a huge Cherokee dinner tonight. Um, I'm really gonna be heartbroken if I don't make it. Um, I've even got all the food prepared that I'm supposed to take. And um, I, see, so it's not just about me not feeling good. Fritz, what are you doing? <laughs> but you know, when we're down, we can laugh at our cat, but we might be missing out on important life events. So hopefully I'm still gonna be able to go. I'm gonna give it my best. Guys, like, subscribe, and share. I'll keep you posted on everything. If you do nothing else today, please listen to me. If you do nothing else today, but feed your dog and throw your kids a pizza or switch the laundry finally from the washing machine to the dryer and make the dryer run five times over because you forget to fold it. Listen to me. If you do anything today, please get in your car, take a deep breath, go to your local grocery store, the best place where you get your good deals and buy canned foods. Five, 10, 30, that's up to you. But please be backing up your pantry. The signs in your body, whether you recognize it and admit it or not, just like me, 
Your body's telling you to do so. Take advantage of these blessings. Backups for backups are blessings. Like, subscribe, and share. <laughs> He's not worried about it. He's not worried about it, right? <laughs> we'll see you on the next video.